Hello everybody, it's Lindy Tate from Tater Buggin for my segment today in Craft Round the Clock. I'm so excited about it too, and I'm excited about what we're going to do, and I hope you will be too. Um, if you're watching on replay, I would love for you to comment, say hello, let me know where you're from, and especially let me know if you're new so we can welcome you here. We are so happy to have you. Um, if you're watching later on YouTube, we would love for you to like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you never miss one of our uploads. We have all of our videos on YouTube as well. Easy to find. Hey, Rebecca. Peggy's here. Hey, Leanne. Yes. Hey, Diane. Oh, they're going by so fast. I'm trying to keep up. There's Cindy. Hey, Cindy. Hey, Susan and Cheryl. Wanda's here. Thank you for sprinkling, Peggy. I really appreciate that. Hey, Darlene and Debbie. It's been, yeah, we've, I've had a good day. It's, everything's frozen out there, y'all. I'm sitting here, you know, I have windows all around this side of me. And I'm just hearing the cracks of limbs falling. We had lost a big limb that took out my favorite bird feeder. Thank you, Melissa. Thank you so much. This is a fairy season from my latest haul. It's the first time I've worn this one. Um, hey, Vanetta. And um, I'll start to hear way up high here cracks. The, the limb that fell last night, I sat straight up in the bed. I knew. So something had either hit our house or fallen out of the tree. But it took out our favorite bird feeder, the swing bird feeder that my bluebirds love that Mr. Tate made, Mr. Taterbuggin, sorry. Um, and so they keep cracking. I saw my neighbors lose some limbs coming down, and we just lost two more as I was sitting here preparing. So, ooh, makes you a little crazy. You just, I start to hear them crack, and I'll think, oh, where's it gonna fall? Are my dogs in the backyard? You know, all that. So, Mr. T's taking a tumble twice today on the ice. Oh, I've missed you too, Barbara. I'm glad you're here. Hey, Lori. Y'all don't get mad at me. I'm doing another tag. Let me just get it out of my system, okay? I love this surface, but listen, what we're doing today, you can use a canvas panel to do it. You can cut a piece of cardboard, It's, but I think you're going to like it. Just bear with me. Let, me. let me just get it out of my system. Hey, Kim. Um, thank you, Tony. It's fairy season. Okay, first off, we're going to use Theodosia Square again. Y'all know I use this a lot. Hey, sweet Teresa, how are you doing? Hey, Marie. Uh, under, yeah, well, we're under a cover of ice. I just wanted this stuff to melt and ready for it to go away now. Hey, Natasha, how are you? Hey, Lori. That's right, a tag is just a surface. Doesn't matter. I mean, yes, we sell these in our shop, but you don't have to use this, you know, for goodness sakes. Um, show me I need. I'm at Hobby Lobby. There's the link right there. It's called Theodosia Square. You can find it in their scrapbook paper section. Y'all, look how thick this book is. I got it half off. It's $21.99, so when Paper Studio goes on sale, don't miss this one. If you can get your hands on it, there is not a paper in this book that I don't love. Hey, Cynthia. Good afternoon, Cheryl. Hey, Regina. I'm ready for spring, too. So, this, this is what we're going to do. I decided to take two coordinating papers out of this book. These are the two I chose right here. Very vintagey. So, let's get going because we got a lot of steps to this, but it should come together pretty quickly. Okay, I just want to trace around my little tag. You trace around whatever surface you want to use as your base. And we'll cut this out and start decorating. So much fun. I have got stuff out everywhere. Mr. T walked through a minute ago and he said, why do you have all this stuff out on the floor over here? I said, because. I need it right at hand. I'm using it today. Get out. <laughs> Get out of my studio. Don't you worry about it. Did y'all watch him cook last night? Oh my heck, that was delicious. I'll enjoyed that. All right, so we've got a little background. Isn't that pretty? 
but I want to add another element to it. Y'all are going to be see, seeing this a lot, you know, because I get excited about my little sewing machine. <laughs> it's spitting something in the air here at my home, so tell it to stop. Ocean Breeze and me. Hey, sweet friend. How are you doing? All right, I'm going to, I've got my little light on. We're going to sew on the edge of this tag because I just want to add that little extra element to it. I love my sewing machine. <laughs> if you want one of these, I put it in my favorites, obviously, because I love it in our Amazon link, just so you can find it easily. It has a little foot pedal, but my chair sits up high. So I'm just using uh, the the button on the front. I just love the look of um, of the stitching. You could draw it on there if you don't have a sewing machine and you just want that look. You can draw little lines on there. This is one of those projects that you could make. 15 of us could do the same project and they would all look different. I'm going to show you at the end of the day. Which is the case for most, most projects, really. Okay. Hey, Patty. Is it cute, Carol? I stinking love this little machine. It's so fun. Come on. Let me... Oh, that's out of there. It even has the little thread cutter. Okay, you get out of my way for a minute. We'll get you back out in just a second. So, let me just show you. So, it just gives it another little, you know, element. Now, we are going to put this down on our tag on our base, whatever your base is. That part up the top is not going to show at the end, so don't worry too much about that. And I'll just use a little Mod Podge. Uh, Kathy, you know, you could do this. It's just a simple straight line. I'm, I'm, I was never a good seamstress, and my last um, business was strictly sewing, and I'm not good at it, so I know you can do it. Um, positive. have to glue that back down, huh? <laughs> That's the kind of thing you're going to see around here. Terry Chisholm, thank you so much for those stars. How are you doing? Uh, hey, Liz. Um, yeah, I don't know. Are, is anybody new here to our page? Um, we've been getting some new friends lately, and I'm just tickled to death. I love all my sweet friends beads through the, really Sue, grab those up, grab them up, they, cause you can make, I'm, I've shown y'all a million different, well not a million, but I'm working on it, different things you can do with this type of thing, even a paper tag, that can be your substrate, hey Jane, thank you for sprinkling, y'all let me, real quick, I gotta show y'all this, I'm in Jane's art journaling club, and I'm doing her book of the month. I was working on it yesterday. Would you look at these papers that I made? I can't, I made them. I can't believe it. I looked at them this morning all dried out, and I thought, I did that. They're so beautiful. I've got a link. She's opened up uh, her um, art journaling group. So if you're interested in it, Oh, you know, I don't, I'll have to post, I'll post about it, because I don't think Cindy has that link yet. Tammy, it's your first time. Welcome, welcome. I'm so happy you're here. I hope you'll enjoy what we do, enough to give us a follow and come back. Aren't they pretty, Jermaine? I can't believe I made them. Jane's an awesome teacher, though. She really is, and uh, she's got so many great techniques in there. She has a book of the month, a project of the month in there. Oh, all kinds of things. I don't know how she does it all. But
but um, it's well worth the money. It's it's a lot of information, a lot of fun. Um, Zoom creating together, which is way fun. No, Cindy doesn't have that one. Jane, if you wanted to, uh, if you have time and could send that link to Cindy, she'll pop it up here. Because she's opened up. It doesn't happen very often, I don't believe. So, you want to get in on that. Okay, next up for our coordinating paper, I found a free printable. There's a million of them. All I looked for is a mini envelope free printable. Look at this cute little template. You get two envelope templates. There's this shape and there's this shape. And this is the one I chose. Oh, Margaret, welcome. It closes Saturday. Oh, so y'all join if you're gonna, you know, don't don't drag your feet on it because I'm having so much fun. I'm gonna show y'all my book when I get it finished. I've got the front and back cover done. I've got those two papers done. Can't wait to finish it up. Okay, now I'm just gonna trace out this little envelope template. It's gonna be so cute. There's the template. Thank you, Cindy. I did get Cindy that link uh, before the live so that if anybody wanted to save that while, uh, but really all you've got to do is Google mini envelope template. There's a, a lot of them and you choose the shape you want. This is just the look I was going for for this project. And I almost did this ahead of time. And then I decided, no, I think I can do this in my 45 minutes. We'll see. But you are going to see a finished product, I promise. And there's so many different ways you could do this. All right. Let's just cut this out real quick. And I hope this, this paper is going to look really good with that other one. Like I said, there's not an ugly paper in that pack. You could even make your own paper. You could use a book page, a hymnal page. Um, pretty sure all of you have some type of scrapbook paper though. Do you like rice paper? Would be beautiful for the background. Um, again, I, as I was uh, putting this together, I was thinking of all the different ways you could embellish this and make it so pretty and all the different uses for this when you see what it's going to be. We actually uh, got our mail service back today. We haven't had mail run in two days and Mr. T told me he just saw him go by a few minutes ago. There's our little envelope. Now, here's what I want to do. I, want, I dug out my old 1990s uh, scrapbook scissors. Hello. There he is. Hello. What y'all doing? We are creating. Uh, I got to go to the post office and get some orders mailed. Y'all, he has been busy um, getting y'all's orders ready. Y'all have uh, blessed us with orders for these tags and for our angel wings and for bunnies and all kinds of good things. If y'all haven't checked out our online shop, we'd love for you to. And see yeah, what, I, I see do what. need skates because, yeah. I told him twice. Uh-oh, -uh, you didn't tell him that. Uh-huh. See what Cindy says? Stay on your feet. <laughs> Not your butt. Hey, everybody. Not your butt. Wait to get you... Get your bunnies. Oh, okay, yeah. The bunnies are... They'll be shipped out tomorrow. Who is that, Jane? Jane, uh-huh. Yeah. They'll be shipped out tomorrow, Jane. This is the reason why I did my little... Uh, scissors. I just wanted a little fanciness. You don't have to do that, but I just wanted a little fanciness on my envelope. Okay? 
So there's our little envelope. <clears throat> I'm going to get out my Distress Oxide and kind of just go along the edges of our tag. Gives it a little depth and a little aged look. And I'm not worried about that the hole in the tag this time either. We're not we're not hanging this one. That's why you could easily use anything. Um, I'm gonna still need that. Let me let me go on and do that to my little envelope here. Barb, how are you doing today? When are they gonna let you out of there? I'm gonna call them though, you know, tell them do not discharge her unwrapped from her bubble wrap. She knows I'm teasing her. So she needs to be wrapped up in bubble wrap to protect herself. And I'm just hitting those uh, kind of scalloped edges that I cut. That also is not absolutely necessary. Let's see. I want to use my Yoohoo stick. Hello, Rhonda. How are you? I miss what Brenda. Oh, miss what Brenda said. I've got to go back and look. Just gonna run the uh, glue stick along that edge. So we fold this over, and we'll be good to go. And our cute little, and that the most adorable little envelope. So the envelope is gonna go. On, <clears throat> on our base. And what I'm going to put in the envelope, I have this old cookbook. Now this one, I collect old cookbooks because I love to paint on the pages and use these for mixed media. I just think they're so much fun. And um, my friend Tanya from Hummingbird Paintery hits the uh, estate sales. I don't get to go to those very often. She tries to hit the estate sales and she got she picked this one up for me. So I, I've chose this cookbook because of the colors of the pages. I love the aged pages. I didn't want to tear out this page. So I made a photocopy. <clears throat> I got a photocopy of fancy tea cookies. You could use your grandmother's recipe, reduce the size. Obviously, your grandmother's recipe is not going to fit in here. Or if you have a favorite recipe, or if you um, want to do this at Christmas with your favorite Christmas cookie, um, do that. You can think of a bunch of different ways. So I just kind of measured the size of my envelope, and I'm going to cut my page out and again I have photocopied it so I don't have to worry about oh no I won't have another fancy tea cookie recipe if I want to do that again okay and obviously we don't need I'm just gonna get it to where it fits I also liked how it's got a it must have been a I don't know if it won a ribbon at something. I don't know. But, um, <clears throat> oh, do we have a lot of birthdays? I've been so trying to stay on track here. Uh, that green kind of goes with the green of the envelope. So this has got to be trimmed down just a little bit more. And that's crooked. I'll fix that. Let me just check it for size. Yeah, that should be good. Okay, clean that off there. And let's get out a piece of my little flimsy cardboard that I save. I've shown y'all this very thin cardboard, but it's gonna give this, it needs a little something. Because we're gonna do another step to this one too. Let 
me go on and glue this down. I'm just going to use my glue stick. Happy birthday, Donna. I didn't see which Donna. Oh, happy birthday. Are you talking about? Yeah, the scrapbook paper. Thank you, Betty. Yes. And there's a link. Uh, there's a We shared a link to it if you wanted to order it from Hobby Lobby or if you just want to look at it more closely. I just wanted you to, you could screenshot it and you would, next time you go to Hobby Lobby, you can look for it. Um, I think when I got mine, there were only like two of them. I was so glad I got it. And again, it's uh, $21.99 regularly, but there's a, it's 180 sheets. I mean, that's a pretty good deal. And I, if you can catch it like I did, half price, you're golden. And Paper Studio goes on sale quite often, I think. I'm just going to, I don't have one of those corner cutter things, so I'm just going to do it myself. Don't worry about it. I just want to, I don't want more hard edges. That's all. You can, you know, you once you see the whole, this whole piece, you can uh, figure out how you want to do it exactly. It's just a concept that I thought was fun. All right, so we've got our fancy tea cakes. Let me get my little sewing machine back out because I love it. <laughs> So I just wanted this to mimic the outside edge of the tag. Of course, if you're using a canvas panel, you can't do this part, but you could draw it on there and give that same illusion that it has been stitched. I've done that a million times too. Popular birthday date. My sister in love, Anne Marie, y'all know Anne Marie, it's her birthday today. My cousin in Mobile, Philip, it's his birthday today. And my cousin's daughter, that would be my second cousin, I think, um, it's her birthday today too. So we have a lot of February 2nd birthdays. Hey, Holly. Now let's see how this is going to look. Please tell me that's going to fit. i got to trim a little bit. It's a little bit wide right there. There we go. Yep, that's perfect. Now I want to edge this. Is it, Kate? Oh, hey, Brenda. Um, Janice, I'm going to get me one of those. I love that case uh, Lisa showed this morning during her live. I also, I also went over and got a stencil. I did. I'm on me. Couldn't help myself. I really liked that one. All right. That just gives it to me a little uh, distress and depth and whatever. Now, I don't want to leave this top part. You're gonna tell that's an envelope. You won't see this top part anyway. So we're cut, cutting that off right there. Got our little, oh, look how cute that is. We've got our little fancy tea cookie recipe right there. Okay, now, there's that. So, I want to add let me see. Do I want to? I want to add a little lace, maybe a little bit of doily. Oh, I like that. Let's see if I can do this. We're gonna try this. Thank you for the hearts. Isn't it cute, Cindy? I just think it's so cute. Hope I can pull this off. These little, uh, most of my little doilies, I had 
a few, but most of these little doilies are ones that Tanya picked up at uh, estate sales too. So you want a sweet friend like Tanya who will remember you when they're out at estate sales. <laughs> All right. Buying you goodies. So that, I think that's going to be fun. Do I want it going up or down? I think I want it going down. Let's just take a peek. This is what we're, you know, what we're kind of looking at. So we've got another little layer of texture. Craft Therapy with Lisa Ahmad. And she is a chalk couture um, retailer. Is that what you call them? Retailers? Anyway, she says chalk couture. And so she, there was a launch today. And that's why she did that. But she does all kinds of fun stuff. She's fun to watch. She's, uh, she's, she and I have gone live together. She and Jane were live last night doing mica powders. And Mr. T was on. I didn't get to watch all of it. So I've got to watch the rest on replay because I want to learn about those. I love my creative friends and business buddies. All right. So we've got that little element. Now we're going to put our little envelope right there. I see that's peeking out right there. I don't want that to show, so let me trim that off. Now we obviously we want to add some more fun to it. So I've got where are all my goodies? More goodies. I got out some little flowers to see how these might look. Oh, that's so sweet. Look at that pretty little flower there. I like that. Let's just let's just go on and do that because that's too fun. Um, good afternoon, Sunshine Designs. How are you today? What am I doing on my time? I'm doing good. Got a little crazy with the ink there, but that's all right. Um, now we're just embellishing. We want to add, we could add a little greenery down here. But you know what I'm thinking about? I'm thinking about my grandmother's buttons. Let's, let's, you could do, right down here, you could do a pretty piece of Totally Dazzled. That would be really pretty. Hello, Sabrina from Texas. How are you? Has about 60, yeah, oh, it is so cool. It, every crafter needs it, I think. Pearls and tea parties go together, right, Gwen? Yeah, I've still got 18 minutes. I can slip into a little bit slower gear now and not rush. We're just gonna have fun embellishing this. So there's where we are so far. Are y'all with me? Okay. So these are some of my grandmother's buttons. Um, oh, I got one out. I know I love. I love the ones that she cut off. Um, you know, and left just left the. Uh, thread in. So I think that one is so pretty. I'm going to put that right in the middle of the envelope right there. I really like that. Just as a sweet little, I don't know, embellishment. It's your first time too, and welcome. I'm so happy you're here. I hope you'll enjoy what we do. A teapot, sticker, or charm. Oh, yeah. See, I knew once I started this and got to this point, y'all would have some great ideas. I was thinking about adding just a couple more buttons down here. I don't know. Let's see. Mm, 
me. I don't know how I feel about the buttons down there. I, I love the little button right there. Let me see. I know what I could do. I could take a couple of the smaller flowers. See how those look. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah, let's do that. Let's add a couple of flowers down here. I know, Lori. Wouldn't that be beautiful? And see, even if your recipe cards wouldn't fit down in there, re, you know, scan them and resize them so that they'll fit into this little envelope. Or make it a bigger scale if you want to. You know, cut your cardboard big. Oh, table gifts for the ladies, Lynn Yes. That would be so sweet. And it doesn't have to be a recipe in there. If you want to put a little note, a little personalized note. But I was just thinking of all the different things, you know, that you could possibly do with just this concept. Oh, I love that. Well, thank you, Peggy. Thank you so much. I started to not do it because I thought, oh, they don't want to see me work with another tag. But I thought, it doesn't have to be a tag. And this, you can take this whole concept and, um, oh, you could, you know, the sky's the limit as to what you could do and how many different ways you could do it. Now, this is my sorry silk. Because I think it just kind of goes with the, the whole vibe. Let me do, how do I want to do this? I'm just trying to think exactly how I want to do this. I'm going to cut two pieces about this long. I used to make paper flowers. That would be beautiful to put on here. Yeah. There's Lisa Ahmad right there. We've been talking about you, my friend. Were your ears burning? I'm just making a little kind of, um, no, this is a little bow. <laughs> it's not got a little bow. <laughs> I want it to be kind of, uh, old and wrinkly looking, but pretty, but pretty. Oh, thank you, Bobby. This is fairy season. I did a haul video um, Sunday afternoon. It's still out there, and you've got, it's either 7 or 14 days. I think they've lengthened your 30% off because y'all enjoyed it so much. I think they've given you some extra time on your 30% off your entire order. So take advantage of that before it's gone. Use code Lindy30. My bracelet I've got on, my earrings I've got on are from Fairy Season. I've even got a ring on from Fairy Season today. <laughs> Y'all, look, let me show you. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. You can tuck the um, tails of the bow kind of down behind there. Isn't that sweet? My word, I love this so much. <laughs> oh, Karen, thank you so much. Hey, Deb, Linda's new to my page. We've got so many new eyes on us, and I'm so excited to have you here. I'm usually on every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday, and then my husband cooks for you on Wednesday nights. So uh, we do, I do all kinds of things. I'm uh, about to do another paint party. I've just got to settle my mind on what it's going to be. I'm always open to suggestions. Do y'all love it? So, you know, you can use whatever, you know, I think the background in a hymnal page or music sheet would be pretty. I was practicing it and I did this one earlier. So it's different papers, a different recipe, but this whole, every um, step is the same, but it gives you a whole different look. Aren't they sweet? Who wouldn't want one of these as a gift or as a little tuck in? Valentine's Day is coming up. You could make it real Valentine's like. You could put it. 
why did why didn't I think of this? I just thought, why couldn't you get there are free uh, vintage Valentine printables? Go to Graphics Fairy; they're wonderful, and you could print out one of those cute little vintage Valentines to tuck in there and make this all you know lovey dovey and cute. Oh my word! Give it to as a teacher gift. That would be fun. I'm so glad y'all like these. Who made my necklace? This is a gift from my sweet Ken C Kendi Kane. <laughs> Kendi say Cindy Kane. She knows I love dragonflies and their symbolism, a symbol of transformation and growth and um, spirituality. Um, and so I just I think it's beautiful. So I, I had that on today. Jane, I put on my uh, bluebird necklace because. We're covered in bluebirds now, and you know that we feed our little blue. We feed all our birds. We're covered in all kinds of birds, but uh, that limb took out their favorite feeder, and they're all out there. And I almost put I put on my bluebird um, necklace that you made, but it was not the it, this neckline was not the right neckline for this. So I'm excited to wear my bluebird necklace. You absolutely could, Lori. I just knew y'all would be coming up with all kinds of ideas. What about a an old photo of your grandparents? Or, you know, Mother's Day's coming up. Which, what mama wouldn't like one of these, right? Um, if, you, if you wanted to give your daughter a Mother's Day gift, you could tuck your favorite recipe in that or a special picture you know what I would love to do and I think I'm gonna do it I think I'll take one of these and take the recipe out and there's a picture of me and my mom when I was little and I was whispering to her I was telling her a secret and my uncle took the photo um, oh do you we've got something we call mosquito hawks but they're not dragonflies they're a whole different thing but that's cute you could tuck in a gift card Deb yes but I think I might tuck in that picture of me and my mom and give it to her with her Mother's Day gift. Or what for sale, Donna? These, um, I always sell my stuff at auctions afterwards, but if you're ever interested in something I've made, you know, message me. Message me. I'm so glad y'all like them. I gotta say, I'm pretty tickled with them. I, you know, once you start creating with them, you'll think of Tons of ways to use them. This is not, this is one of my thick tags. This was one that um, I showed y'all. Now listen, hold on, let me show you. If you missed me on Tuesday on my live, this is what we did. This is just a shadow box from um, Hobby Lobby in the woodpile section. And we just crackled it. I used the uh, paper from this same book, Theodosia Square, and so we put our tag into a shadow box. I added a little, um, oh, that's a cheesecloth bow on that one with a little Totally Dazzled from their Valentine's pack, some cardboard, that's a hymnal page that I just sewed down the middle of the heart to make it 3D. You can see exactly how I made it in the, um, in the replay. But you can actually do the very same thing with this and put it in a shadow box and make it a spe That's what I think I'll do for my mom. I think I'll do another one of these shadow boxes and put hers in there for her Mother's Day gift. But um, there are a lot of things you can do with these sweet little tags. They make great little shelf sitters. It would be fun if, you know, if you had a, a whole different look to it, you could put one of those do they call them bulldog clips? You know, and paint it to match and then have your recipe hang in there. You don't have to make the envelope. Um, the website for the free printables. I go to Graphics Fairy and I look there for like, um, you could search vintage Valentines and you'll get all kinds of image images from Graphics Fairy. All I did for this template um, was I just Googled many envelope templates. I also, if you go to my Pinterest page, I have a free printables board. So I'll probably be adding this template 
to that board. And so follow that Pinterest board. Anything I find that's a free printable, I just add right onto that board. So you can check back every now and then. You'll see when I add some stuff to it um, for your free printables. So, okay, Maureen. Yeah, please do. This was a fun one. There's the template for the, hey, my sweet friend Kim from yesterday's tomorrow's. How are you? I can so see you doing this, Kim. Isn't that pretty? How much time do I have? I still got five minutes. What else can I show y'all? What else? What else? I can tell you that I'll be on, um, back on Saturday. I'm not usually on Saturday, but I'm in an event, the Paint Pixie Cupid event. So you'll see me posting about that. And um, did you see me do the, I did a tray that we auctioned off last Sunday for Anna Banana's mother. Uh, and I used the trimmings mold and uh, pixie dough and I put it on both sides. Well, I was sitting here a couple of days later, I guess uh, I had a little bit left of that trim and I don't know what made me think of it, but I was looking at it and if you cut the leaves apart, they look like little hearts. So I just cut my pixie dough into little hearts. If they're too spread out for you, pop a little hot glue in there and they make the sweetest little pixie dough hearts out of that, that uh, edging. I did make the envelopes, Nancy. I sure did. I found us a, a free template that you can use. Get you some scrapbook paper or an old book page and make your own little envelope. They are so easy. And then I just took the scrapbook scissors and gave it a little fun edge. This one I, wait, this one I used a little bit different edging. It's a little scallop. So you can make them look however you want to. You could put, you know, if this was your Valentine when you could put a little love you or love right down here at the bottom or XOXO. <laughs> Welcome, Glennad. Do we have another new new person to my page? To say to look for those free printables. My, if you'll go to my Pinterest. <sighs> my Pinterest is, is it Tater Buggin? Or is it Lindy T. Tate? I don't know. I'll have to share my Pinterest link on my page. It is in my, if you scroll way down on my link tree, you'll find my Pinterest page. And I have all kinds of boards on there. Um, but I look for that free printables board and um, I've just saved all kinds of stuff for y'all there. Thank you, Jerry. Yeah, this was the thick tag that uh, we decided, oh, that's too thick. That would cost too much to ship. So we made them smaller, but yeah, you can use whatever you want. Oh, that would be so pretty, Gwen. Yes, your crocheted hearts. I love it. Yeah, I get gra uh, Graphics Fairy is a great site for free printables, all kinds of free printables. Even I look up vintage photos, and you know I've used those in my mixed media projects. You have a blessed day too, Cynthia. Thank y'all for being here, and I'm so happy you enjoyed it. Um, glad I, I could, I had to practice one to see if I could do it in 45 minutes, because I was going to be cutting out everything ahead of time. Hey, Nelda, you're a first-timer too from Rock. Texas. Welcome, welcome. So happy you're here. If you really want it, you could glue two together, Dolly. That's a wonderful idea. Look at there. Cindy went and got you my Pinterest. There you go. Um, yeah, I would love for you to follow me on Pinterest. And every now and then I'll, I need to do it more, but I even create my own pins sometimes of my stuff. So yeah, um, I'm going to go now and I'll see y'all at four o'clock Saturday central time for the event. So I hope you'll come back and see me then. Y'all have a wonderful evening and stay warm. Bye.